Greetings, my fellow mortals. We are back again today with another album review, and we are reviewing the new Antichrist Siege Machine album, Vengeance of Eternal Fire. Antichrist Siege Machine is a two-person war metal band from Richmond, Virginia that has been around since 2016. When they formed, they released their first demo titled Demo 2016 in, well, 2016. In 2017, they would release their debut EP, Morbid Triumph. In 2018, they would release their second and final demo titled Promo 2018, which came out in, well, 2018. Then, in 2019, they released their debut full-length album, Schism Perpetration. This album would be released on almost every format through Stygian Black Hand. In 2020, during the pandemic, they would release their second EP titled Filth of the World. In 2021, they would release their second album titled Purifying Blade. This is their most popular um, album being put out by um, being the first release through Profound Lore Records while cassettes were released by Stygian Black Hand. Which then finally leads us to the new album right here. This is their first album since 2021's Purifying Blade, and this will be their second album through Profound Lore Records, releasing it on digital CD and vinyl LP format, with cassettes being put out by Stygian Blackhand. Now, Antichrist Siege Machine is a warm metal band, but there are a little bit of hints of blackened death metal, and I would say there's a bit of grindcore influence on um, this album right here. The album sits at 10 songs and is 25 minutes, which is pretty short for a usual black metal album and whatnot, you know. I, I, that's where I would say it would get the grindcore influence, because grindcore usually has, like, pretty short songs. And this album right here is just brutal, heavy, aggressive, and just very in-your-face with this music right here. And that's something I usually expect from a war metal album. My favorite tracks would have to be the first track, The Son of Man, Pride Swine, Sisera, which is the first single that was released from this album, Vanquishing Spirit, and Lysergic War Psychosis. My highlight tracks would be Only Evil, Towering Lamb, and Scalding Emnity. And overall, I think I would rate this album a really good 9.6 out of 10. This is a really solid, really good war metal album with some hints of Black Death and some grindcore, and it's just chef's kiss right there. But that's the end of my review. Feel free to check out this album on any platform you use, be it Bandcamp, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, if y'all still use iTunes, and whatever. And don't forget to get a physical copy from either Profound Lore or um, Stitchy and Black Hand. And that's about it. Till then, my fellow mortals.